So I am very glad and that's why I am here also. Though I don't have only a few minutes, so I just read out what I have written. My sincere appreciation for the office members and the local coordinators of ACPI for two reasons. First, for the selection of the very current and relevant topic engulfing presence of artificial intelligence. The church has always had the duty of scrutinizing the signs of the time and of interpreting them in the light of the gospel, says Second Vatican Council Fathers. In fact, this ACPI seminar is also a, certainly a response to this uh, command of our fathers. And second, for the meticulous planning and organization of the 46th annual meeting of ACPI, I greet and salute all the office bearers and the local coordinator, Father Augustine and his team. Moreover, I am very grateful to Reverend Father Georgia Varangalai, Superior General of CST Congregation, for inviting me to this seminar. My appreciation goes also to the office bearers, as I said. I do recall with great joy of being the local coordinator of the ACPI conference at Good Shepherd Major Seminary Kuno in 2011. A lot of fond memories. Artificial intelligence is not only the talk of the day, talk of the intelligence here, but on the people of every walks of life today. And from the context, and it became a popular topic for anyone in Kerala when AI cameras were established in Kerala streets. Dear friends, the AI has immense possibilities and potentialities. Our inaugural, uh, in our, the inaugural address, Dr. Joseph Karim spoke about it. And he has given a lot of, a lot of uh, food for our thoughts. It has potentialities to be at the good of humankind at large. In a recent issue of National Academy Register published from the States, United States, there appeared an article entitled Magisterium AI a game changer for the church. <coughs> it is a growing data set of church documents and algorithms that aims to make the church's teaching more accessible than ever. Mr. Matthew Sanders, the founder and CEO of Longbird, a US-based software company that has created Magisterium AI, suggests that their objective is to make Catholic insight and church teachings available to anyone in the world on any device in their native language. On the other hand, the AI poses innumerable challenges and involves far-reaching risk factors. A clear cinematic example of evolving perceptions of AI risk is the film. Many of you might have watched Ex Machina. What we understand today is that Long-term risk is more dangerous than the short-term risk. For example, Yuval Nova Harari has expressed concerns about the amalgamation of AI and biotechnology, highlighting the potential to fundamentally alter human existence by manipulating human emotions, thoughts and desires. Moreover, the existential risk involved in AI systems of the future for example, if essential infrastructure such as water and electricity increasingly rely on AI, any malfunctioning or manipulation would cause great danger to societal functions and human well-being. Dear friends, we will have enough opportunities to discuss the potentialities and the risk factors involved in AI. I wish you all a very fruitful and creative discussion coming days. Finally, I am happy to introduce a book which will be released soon. Books on Contemporary Western Philosophy by Indian authors are very rare. Moreover, 
there is no single oleum on contemporary western trends which are multitudinous. We hope that the present oleum entitled Contemporary Trends in Western Philosophy, Phenomenology to New Age Movement will fill this gap. In this venture, my collaborator is Professor Dr. Joseph Doreiraj from Gandhigram Rural Institute, Dindigal, and Mr. Nidin Vorghis of St. Bhagwan's College, Shangarashi. Contemporary Western philosophy is notable or noted for the emergence of numerous trends. These are often called trends because they do not produce a systematic discourse on the fundamental issues in philosophy. However, they can neither be ignored nor sidelined because they have a great impact on the thinking of the contemporary world. Thus, they demand and deserve our attention and deliberation. This volume on contemporary Western philosophy consists of 16 essays and they forwarded by Professor Dr. Andre Cruz from KU Leuven, Belgium. These essays include phenomenology, hermeneutics, postmodernism, process philosophy, linguistic philosophy, positivism, etc. The objective is to introduce and initiate students to these philosophical trends. All the 16 authors have their grounding in Western philosophy and almost all of them got their PhDs from European universities and some of, our, some of the authors are present here. To put it differently, all the 16 authors have had an abundant exposure to Western philosophy. I am grateful to Dr. Sandosh Kumar for releasing the book and also to the office bearers and the local coordinators of the ACPI for giving me the opportunity uh, to present them uh, to give a felicitation as well as present the book. Thank you very much.